Uh, and here we go. So um, I'm talking about a project that's been running for about six years, um, uh, mainly at the University of Calgary, but in collaboration with colleagues elsewhere at Carnegie Mellon, at um, University of Victoria, University of California, um, University College London, and so on. Um, so it is basically an entire um, infrastructure and um, uh, ecosystem for textbooks and mathematical logic. Um, so it's uh, organized in uh, section-based chunks, um, and uh, you can combine these sections into uh, textbooks for various levels and for various topics in mathematical logic. Uh, it was prompted by a desire to have um, uh, to have a new textbook that um, sort of targets the students, especially that we have here at the University of Calgary. Uh, and there was at the time no um, pre-existing OER to adapt. So we started from lecture notes and wrote a whole bunch of original materials. It was originally um, funded by the uh, Provincial OER Initiative and some uh, uh, and some grant funding also from uh, my own faculty and the Taylor Institute for Teaching and Learning here at the University of Calgary. As I mentioned, it's a collaborative effort. So um, there's, uh, there's about a dozen people uh, involved uh, directly and then uh, many more who sort of um, uh, provide feedback or, um, uh, or report uh, misprints to us and so on. And as I also mentioned, it's a uh, modular. So um, uh, from the very beginning, we had in mind um, um, making it so that we can um, easily um, take um, bits and pieces from various parts and combine them into a new textbook uh, for the course. How does it work? So what's under the hood, it's all uh, written in um, uh, simple text files, but these simple text files are processed through a typesetting system called LaTeX, which is the um, the standard for mathematical um, uh, for mathematical writing, but also uh, also standard in computer science, in physics, in economics, and uh, increasingly also in philosophy. As I mentioned, each file in this uh, in this repository is a section size chunk. Um, they're all hierarchically organized, so we basically have parts that are organized into chapters and then into sections. But you can uh, move these things around. Uh, and then there's also scripts uh, and driver files um, designed to easily do things with the entire um, repository. So for instance, you can globally replace symbols or terminology just by changing um, a, a code in one file and then running the script on the whole thing. Um, you can auto-generate uh, material. This is uh, something that LaTeX is very good at. So for instance, bibliographies or lists of problems. Uh, and then um, you can you can format it as a book, right? So there's, um, uh, in fact, these um, books exist. So I don't know if you can see it, but here is one. So you can buy these things on Amazon. Um, so that's how it works under the hood. Uh, it's also um, uses a pre-existing um, uh, uh, revision control system. So um, this is something that, um, that uh, programmers use to keep track of their code. And since our book is basically also just a collection of uh, a whole bunch of code that gets fed into this typesetting system, we use the same system, it's called Git. And then GitHub is a popular portal for hosting these kinds of things. So there's a, um, there's a public facing portal um, where uh, not only can you download the source code, but you can also, there's an issue tracker for corrections and suggestions uh, and the wiki for documenting how it all works. Uh, and then we also have a web page for, um, for the compiled PDFs of the various sections and the books themselves. This is what they look like. So, so far, um, the entire thing uh, is approximately a thousand pages right now. Uh, and it's been remixed into a number of um, uh, sort of textbooks that are useful for a one semester course. Uh, so here's five of them, the one on the far right, Intermediate Logic, uh, was basically done in half a day um, for a colleague of mine who needed a new textbook for his course at McGill. Uh, and uh, it probably didn't even um, uh, require half a day, just a half a day with uh, some conversation and back and forth. Um, so it really is easy to, um, uh, to make a new book out of uh, this material. The upsides of the entire thing is the use of uh, LaTeX and um, the coding infrastructure and the revision control system. Uh, LaTeX guarantees very professional looking results. Um, the, um, uh, the GitHub platform uh, and the LaTeX um, uh, scripts 
uh, provide extreme flexibility. Um, it's very easy and very rapid to update something. So if someone uh, tells you that um, they found a mistake and they report it on GitHub, it's basically a matter of, um, uh, of pu pushing one button uh, and typing two lines into your um, console and everything gets updated. All the, all the PDFs are made anew and, um, uh, and are up to date. And as I mentioned, it's really easy to remix and prototype things. Um, it's got a lot, uh, it's got some downsides too. So I'll finish with those. Uh, one of the uh, downsides is that the use of LaTeX uh, means that conversion and reuse in other formats is difficult. So for instance, it's very, it's, uh, it's even uh, difficult to con just convert uh, things into HTML. The PDFs that are output look very nice uh, and they are, um, um, uh, um, they, uh, um, um, they, they uh, respect the PDF um, archival um, standards and um, they're useful for, uh, for printing, um, but they're hard to make accessible. So if, um, uh, um, so if you need to read it on a screen reader, um, um, that can be a little bit of a problem. Um, the cha any changes to the code now affect multiple projects. So if I make a change for my textbook, it automatically means a change in three other textbooks too. And that might not agree with the people who are sort of in charge of those parts of the project. Uh, and because LaTeX and GitHub are uh, not something that you can just sort of, you know, um, you sign up on a, uh, on a website like Pressbooks and, uh, and away you go, you need to learn some code. Um, it presents a barrier to entry. So new, con uh, new con collaborators and new uh, contributors um, um, uh, face this barrier. Uh, 